We've known about the issues with central counts and absentee ballots and everything for a while now. They've been in session for, what, 13 months and a couple of weeks. They had an amendment at 4 o'clock on the last day of session. So was it a good faith offer for Republicans to get this done? Well, I mean, we, not only have we known about it all session, we've known about it for years before that. And in 2020, clerks were inundated with absentee ballots because of COVID, like numbers they'd never seen. The legislature didn't meet for basically all of 2020, and the clerks were saying, please give us some help. It didn't come all session. This thing just languished. So, you know, for the two sides to try to talk at the last minute and not reach a deal is is not a surprise that they couldn't see eye to eye on this stuff. Now, again, much like with Lincoln Hills bill, this goes back to the Senate. They have to sign off. I have not had a chance to ask Kathy Bernier, the chair of the Elections Committee, who has carries a lot of weight in that caucus, right, yep. about election stuff, where she's at on the amendment. There are changes to it, right? Because one, for example, the deadline right now, if you're an independent candidate for president, like a Kanye West, the Green Party right. candidate in 2020, your deadline to file is July 1st. For other candidates, it's June 1st. So it would move the independent candidates back to June 1st of an election year. That would give more time for the Elections Commission to look at the nomination papers. And also, like in the Green Party's case, Right. They sued because they were denied ballot access. The Supreme Court said, look, you waited too long. The ballots are already printed because they right. printed like by September 1st or something like around yes. that neck of the woods. And it's, it's too late. So this would give more win- room for that to happen if it happens yes. again. I don't know if anybody's unhappy about that. The changes about like when you mail absentee ballots, changes about presidential only ballots and other things. I'm not quite sure where the Democrats are on those things or if the governor's going to be open so to it. I think that they're going to have more problems with the Democrats than with the Republicans in the mm-hmm. states. And I did have a chance to talk to Senator Bernier before the assembly took this up, but it was um, clear that she, she had been talking to Speaker Voss. Uh, after after their meeting, um, her staff was on the phone a lot over in the assembly. So they seem to be very, working very closely to come together on a deal that both houses could approve. But all the Democrats in the Senate voted against it. They voted against it in the assembly. So I think that there's going to be messaging from the Democrats that this is, doesn't do enough. Um, Evers is clearly going to veto all these other election bills. So to see this be included among the veto pile would not be a huge surprise. Rewind. Your Week in Review is sponsored by the Wisconsin Realtors Association, bringing Wisconsin communities to life with great homes, businesses, and neighborhoods. The Wisconsin Realtors Association, the voice of real estate.